Hi, I'm Richard Hudson. This video is about how long stuff lasts on a voyaging sailboat. My boat, Asuma, has sailed over 100,000 miles, about 50,000 with the first owner and about 60,000 with me. Most stuff lasts a long time. To be specific, well-built well -built sails last a long time. All the sails on Asuma have been replaced except for the four staysail, which now has 100,000 miles on it. Uh, the mainsail I replaced about when I bought the boat, and I thought it was going strong. It's, it's made of polyester with a spectra laminated onto it, and I was surprised when it suddenly ripped from Loft to Leach last year. I repaired it, and then this year it ripped about this far below where the repair was. So I'm in the process of getting a new sail, getting it replaced, and I put a big patch into it now. So I'm hoping it'll last until I'm able to get a replacement. With the sails, they've got to not flog and they've got to be kept out of the sun. And if they're well built, they'll last a long time. Sail covers. Uh, this one is only a couple years old. I had one for 10 years. I, I bought it. It was made of a something like Sunbrella. It was a Spanish cloth. I bought it in the Canaries. It was something like Sunbrella. And it... It was just seeming like it was getting faded after 10 years, and I started suspecting it wasn't doing a good job of keeping the UV off the sail. you got to keep the UV off the sail when it's not in use or it'll die. So I replaced it with this, which is Top Gun, which I expect to last a long time. Uh, I replaced the four staysail. I had a sail cover for the four staysail, which was Sunbrella that I bought on the internet, and it worked, but it's... Had, uh, it had zippers, and the zippers kept failing. Um, and anyway, I replaced it with a cover built of Top Gun. Uh, zippers, zippers, I mean, zipper lube really does help with zippers that, that otherwise seize up at, in saltwater, salt air conditions. But it's good to remember the zipper you don't have won't break. And for that reason, uh, there's no zippers on my sail covers. I use, I use webbing to tie them. I've, I used to use uh, twist fast, metal twist fasteners or metal snap fasteners, and those things don't work well. And in cold weather, when your hands are really cold, like it's freezing conditions, you don't want to be using a twist fastener. You want little ropes or little pieces, pieces of webbing work a lot better. Ropes last a really long time. Uh, some of my ropes for the running rigging, just double braid polyester, nothing special, like this rope for the main sheet and this one for the main stay. So they, they are both, they both have over 100,000 miles on them. And they're going strong. There's nothing wrong with them. They're clearly not new, but there's nothing wrong with them. These, these two ropes, they have, uh, I don't know, maybe 40,000 miles on them, 30 or 40. They're Samson XLS Yacht Braid. They are also going, you know, nothing wrong with them. They're going to last a long time. If, the rope doesn't chafe, it's going to last a long time. Winches just seem to last forever. They, you got to do a few things to, a little bit of maintenance to them, like every, once a year or so, take them apart, clean them, re-grease them. Uh, occasionally the, the pawls and the springs inside break, but you just carry a few spares and you can deal with that. And it doesn't happen very often. For the most part, the things just keep working year after year, and with a little bit of maintenance, and that's all there is to them. They're, they're quite reliable devices. Rigging wires, there's, in the tropics, I, th I think you're supposed to replace these every seven to 10 years. Uh, really, I think a lot of it has to, to do with how, uh, how hard you work to sail the boat, and, and also how rigid it is. Like, it's, it's a, uh, the stuff gets work hardened. Stainless steel gets work hardened. So if you're going to avoid movement because you've got a rigid hull and you've got your rigging tuned, it's not going to wear out as fast. Uh, that said, I think it's very difficult to test the stuff and you should, uh, you know, periodically replacing it's not a bad idea at all. I don't actually know how long rigging in a non-tropical environment is likely to be good for. Uh, 
I know that some of Asuma's rigging when I bought it was original. In fact, most of it. I, I've replaced all the stainless steel rigging wires once. They seem to be in good condition. At some point, I'll have to replace them again. Uh, by, that's, that's stainless steel rigging wire. By contrast, my centerboard here, which is partly up, you'll notice uses galvanized wire. Now, galvanized, you have to use galvanized wire on, uh, for lifting applications because stainless doesn't handle the, the turning. You know, you gotta go around these pulleys and stainless doesn't handle turning well. So the only kind of wire you're supposed to use for lifting applications is galvanized. And well, here it looks like the, the wire's a long way away from the, the water. When the centerboard is in position, it's down, it's way down there. And water, waves do come up. This does, this cable does definitely get wet with, with seawater. And, and that causes it not to last nearly as long. However, with, with the centerboard, what actually, and I don't periodically replace this cable because what actually, even though it will, it will rust and, and at some point it could rust out, but that never seems to happen because what actually happens is that at some point you forget to unlock the pin before trying to raise the board and you break the cable, or you have it unlocked and you hit a rock or a piece of ice and the centerboard comes up and then it, as you pass over the, the rock or the ice, it then call, f falls down and then the entire load is taken on this cable and the cable breaks. The cable is the weak point of the system. And so every once in a while you break your cable anyway. You carry a spare cable and when that happens, you have to replace the cable. So, 